For a contestant who's had a little screen time, Madison Pruitt is making her name known and into the heart of Peter Weber and Bachelor Nation. I'm Addison Hager for Taste of Country, and yes, we will be sharing some spoilers regarding Madison and the rest of her time on the show later in this video. But first hit the subscribe button, because if you love this video, we've got more reality TV news headed your way. Then while you're there, tell us who you'd want to win Peter's final rose, or even who you'd like to see be the next Bachelorette. She's become a recent heartthrob on the show because she's a girl who isn't about the drama. And boy howdy, has there been drama on this season. Since the last episode, people have taken to social media expressing how much they love Madison, and even would rather see her be the next Bachelorette. Like this video if you agree. We know she's a no-drama gal, but we dug deeper to find out more about Madison Pruitt. The Bachelor isn't the first time Madison has been on reality TV. Nope. Back in 2018, she won an episode of The Price is Right, collecting $8,000 after correctly guessing the price of various grocery store food items. <laughs> Who would have thought? If you haven't noticed the trend so far, the season is stacked with pageant girls. Believe it or not, Madison falls into this category. The Alabama native competed in Miss Alabama Teen USA in 2014. Don't worry, this girl can toss the heels for tennis shoes and has a very competitive and sporty side. Her dad, Chad Pruitt, is the Auburn men's assistant basketball coach, so naturally, Madison picked up basketball at a young age and is pretty dang good at it. She played for her high school team, leading them to four state championship wins. You go, girl! She graduated from Auburn in 2018 and is now a foster parent recruiter. Hey, Peter, she's down to earth, sporty, and loves children. Per her bio, Madison is, quote, hoping to find someone who shares the same religious values that she and her family have. He also must want children and know how to have fun. Watching the way Peter and Madison interact with each other, it's clear so far he's checking off all her boxes. However, here's some information she still has yet to share with him. Alrighty, if you don't like spoilers, you might want to pause this video until another day. But if not, get ready for some good tea. Madison makes it to the final two, woohoo! Meaning she gets to bring Peter to her hometown the episode before. Naturally, she brings him to Auburn and Peter meets head men's basketball coach Bruce Pearl. They shoot around with the players and have a good time. Then, per reality Steve, they have the dinner portion of the night at Coach Pearl's house with her family. Whew, talk about intimidating. Brace yourselves. In the end, Madison's dad doesn't give Peter his blessing to marry his daughter. Though we aren't sure as to why he came to this conclusion, we can assume it's for the same reason Cassie's dad from Colton season said no. Cassie's dad had reservations with the weight of what an engagement means and the speed of the show. He wanted Cassie to really know what she wanted before stepping into such an important commitment. And we're thinking Madison's dad may have felt the same way. However, that's not the only T. Madison on the fantasy suite date will let him know that she's a virgin. If you've watched even one episode of Colton's season, you know his virginity was made a big deal. Not sure if the producers will do the same thing here, but one thing's for sure, it will fluster Peter. He has been very open that the physical connection is really important to him. <laughs> Anyone remember the windmill and Hannah Brown? So here's what we're thinking. This is going to turn into a Cassie Colton situation. He might send Madison home after she opens up. Later on, he realized he made a mistake. When I love someone, I don't care how hard it looks. I will never surrender. And will end up not engaged to her in the end, but head off to pursue her in dating, taking their time. We will just have to wait and see. I know, the anticipation is killing us! I'm Addison Hager for Taste of Country. Thanks for watching, and as always, thanks for subscribing.